welcome back again. It's Kayleen and Mark. Hi campers. And we are doing a little bit of a Sunday sesh afternoon and we've come back down to the Gold Coast again. <laughs> I know Sunday sesh something sounds like a drinking thing, but we're not. No, not we're, drinking yet. We have come down. That'll be later. Well, I had a couple before, but you know. So we have come down to the Swell Sculpture Festival on the Gold Coast, which is apparently in its 17th year. And again, first time we've ever been. Um, but it's it's all different artists that have made things from recycled and stuff like that. There is different areas, so if you check out, we'll put the link below. It's on from the 11th of September to the 20th September. And we are on Chevron Island, because we're doing our first stop, and it is the Corman Family Park. And it's very cool. This one is called Easterly Swell, and the artist is Christopher Trotter. And so check out, if you come down here, you'll be able to see and then we will show you around. Mark's found some cool things, what do you reckon? I think it's great, it's really worthwhile coming down. If you've ever been on a farm and you've seen all the old junk in the backyard, this guy is so creative in how he puts everything together. Try and pick out what's actually in the actual artwork and identify what machinery it comes from. It's quite fantastic, well done. So we're looking at the crab, it's like... <gasps> <laughs> That's a crab! And look at this little kid, there's a little mouse! It is so well done! Scorpion cow. Oh, scorpion, yeah. So it was an old tractor, isn't it? An old truck. An old truck. Yeah. That's so well done. There's a little old man on the other side. Dragster. Restart recycled steel and found objects. Look at his little face. Yep, this is Chook Racer. I love the head. That's just cool. Like, so creative. Put the eggs in the back on the oh, So does he spit out his eggs onto here? Oh my gosh, that is just too cool. I look at the chook up on the top. Running away. Looking to find around the farm. I know, it's so well done. A kinetic art piece promoting recycling. Oh, I just can't get over how creative people are. Been up there in a little frog. It's a frog from the front. What is it? It's a frog going in that way. Yeah. Oh, that's just too cool. And finally, a scooter my size. <laughs> you need to sort of get closer and. I reckon you could. Yeah, you could easily ride that. <laughs> So what are these made of? What are these? Well that's a large bearing, so that comes out of mining machinery I'd say. That's a large sprocket. This is this John Iron is um, hydraulic, uh, no sorry, water line pumps. So water I guess. Um, springs off something. These are flywheels, generally old steam driven stuff. 
Sorry, what were those ones? They're a flywheel of old steam driven stuff generally. So they'd have a belt that would run from here down to a larger or smaller pulley. back end, that tyre in this section here comes off a harvester, or maybe disc harrows or something yeah. like that. Listening to the, the quiet sounds of artwork, excuse me, <laughs> excuse me, <laughs> excuse me, <laughs> excuse me, <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> That's too cool. A little froggy's got a smile on his face. So what have you found here on Little Mo? So Little Mo's Mo are old shearing shears. They would cross over to here and they'd have a loop at the background that you can open and close. So you'd shear the grass or shear sheep. Oh, it's just, this is so creative. And that kookaburra. Great job. So cool. So this is the Beach Racer. To celebrate and retrospect 15 years of southerly swell, I presented Beach Racer. The piece demonstrates my working process and how pieces can evolve, change and grow over time. Now, we think it's a cross between a whale meets a shark meets a crocodile. It's, interesting. it's got the falcon on this side here. So what do you think it is? I think it's a shark. Yeah, yeah, but what do you think the component is? Oh, so this section I think here is a um, fuel tank from an aircraft. That's a fixed under, under wing fuel tank that can get ejected when it's empty. Oh. The rest of it looks like it's of a Model T with Lucas tyres. What's a Model T? Model T Ford. Car? Car. Yeah. Okay. Dun 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 Very cool. So as you're going around guys looking at all the photos and the pictures that we've got, just try and identify the different types of farm machinery that the pieces have come from. The artist is, looks like he lived on a farm and he's just seen all the junk in the backyard and he thought, well I'll piece this all together. So he started off with a main piece, like maybe an old Ford truck like what's behind us. This one here behind us is called the Scavenger. And he's put together everything from uh, outdoor motors or outboard motors and so forth. There's stuff on there from cotton machinery. There's stuff on there from um, harvesters, you name it. It's all sorts of bits and pieces that he's collected off different machinery, put it into these. Quite fantastic, it's worth a visit, guys. And what animal do we think he had a fetish with? Uh, well, this one, it has to be scorpions because you'll identify the scorpions on the back of it. It's really cool. And this seems like there's a lot of frogs though. There's yeah. frogs. Check out the frogs. You gotta find the frogs. They're very, very cute. <laughs> very cute. Worth coming down to see. Remember the 11th to the 20th. This one's called turning in. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Pillow's new, okay. So guys, we've just come down to Swell down at Corumban, which is down near Elephant Rock. So Carolyn will show you that over there. We'll get a close up of that. And all the way down the beach, we've probably done about 100 metres so far. Further down the beach, a good couple of hundred metres, so about 50 different artistic displays. I'm liking this one.
each of the artwork that we've seen so far, all of the individual signs, and if you read those closely, you'll find they're actually up for sale. So over here, we have the lime green worms. Now, this particular display is on a budget sale at four and a half thousand dollars. The question is, how are you going to get the rock home? Love it. What do you reckon this is called? Ooh, snap. to end a day down at Swell. We've got fish and chips from Honky Dory. They are huge packs. We got a smoked salmon. We got another fish a day grilled. Mark got some balls to share with his mate. <laughs> Family pack, we're starting Jenny's birthday week. Happy the birthday, sun. Jenny. Yeah, we're just doing birthday month. <laughs> yeah, we've got the light. She brought the light. How's this? These are plastic. That is just impressive. So we hope you enjoyed your afternoon at Swell. Remember if you made it this far, thanks for watching. Hit the like, hit the subscribe. Thanks, Have a good night. Bye. Bye.